on the News Channel 5 Network. This is the plus side of Nashville. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Tawanda Cullen. You know, Nashville's farmer's market is so much more than its name implies. Of course, it is a great place to buy farm fresh produce and plants to eat and to shop at the flea market. But there are also lots of other fun, ongoing activities that you can enjoy there. And we'll find out about some of their upcoming events, including a new interactive one. And we'll learn about some of the improvements that are being made at the facility. But first, you know, old mattresses take up a whole lot of space when they're discarded and put into landfills and they take years and years to decompose. So they're horrible for the environment. Well, Spring Back Nashville is a unique program that keeps those old mattresses out of landfills by recycling them. And they've got a great partnership with the folks from Sleep Outfitters. And here to tell us more about that is Kim Knopf, who's the CEO of Sleep Outfitters, along with Andrew Bloomfield, who's the Vice President of Operations for Sleep Outfitters. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. So, you know, I, I was very, very appalled when I heard that there are like over 30 million mattresses that are often discarded and put into landfills. And this is what you all sell. This is what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think it's really cool that you all have taken it upon yourselves to do a partnership where you're not sort of clogging up the environment with the pro products that you, you sell. Kim, talk about why is it so important that you all wanted to do this by getting involved with the recycling of old mattresses? Well, we've been doing this for 30 years, and one of those issues has always been what do you do with the mattresses when you pick them up? Because customers, by and large, don't want to throw them out in front of their homes. Usually, they're a little bit embarrassed, you know, the old mattresses. So um, when we had the opportunity in 2011 to, to begin this uh, project um, with Spring Back in and, and Belmont, um, we were really anxious to do so. And uh, I think it's, it's been a great program for us for the last, you know, four or five years. Yes, and you all were like on the cutting edge, weren't you, Andrew? I think you're the first in the market to actually start doing something like this. We were the first uh, sleep shop or, or mattress specific retailer uh, in, in the United States to begin uh, a recycling program uh, in partnering with Springback. That's great. So how does it work? So when someone comes in, they buy mattresses from you all, and uh, you go out, you uh, take out their new mattresses, you pick up the old ones. What happens with the old ones from that point? Well, you're right. We want to make sure that the customer is not handing that down to, say, a ch you know, child. Exactly. Because it's not giving good support. Um, so really anxious to pick that up. And then from there, I'll let Andrew talk about what his men do. Okay. Our, our process is, is really pretty simple, uh, but at the end of the day, our, our primary goal is to make sure that we uh, have the customer's best interest at heart. Um, we do a survey of the consumer's home before we come in, okay. try to identify the merchandise that they uh, have, no longer have a need for, uh, and as we remove the old bedding from their home, uh, we, we wrap it in, in manufacturer's plastic to, uh, to take it to the delivery truck and then bring in their new purchase uh, and set up in their, in their home. That is a great deal. So how many mattresses, Kim, would you say, since this project started you know, several years ago, how many mattresses would you say you guys have picked up and recycled? Oh, Angie, do you know that number? It's somewhere in the neighborhood of 35,000. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot that we're keeping out of the landfill that you guys are doing a great job about keeping out of the landfill. And I think what people don't realize, I think once you get these mattresses and they're dis dis disassembled, there's all kinds of other materials in there that can be used to make other things. That uh, you're not just breaking it apart and then doing something else and discarding those pieces, but you're making things out of them. No, our intention was to have the nearly a hundred percent of the materials that make up a mattress be recycled for their their component parts the steel uh, is ground up uh, and and melted down and used uh, for other purposes the foam ends up the majority of the foam ends up in your carpet padding so if you have new carpet laid in your ho your home more often than not it's it's the foam that was in a mattress uh, the the wood that that makes up the box springs ends up being ground uh, and dyed and ends up as mulch uh, in your landscaping so you know for the most part 98 to 99 percent of the goods that that make up the, the mattress itself or the box spring uh, end up being used for other purposes. That's wonderful. Kim, do, do, do your clients know that your old mattresses, what's going to happen? Are they happy about this program? I think so. I mean, everybody's really conscious about the environment today. And um, 
I, I think people yeah. really appreciate that, and I think it does differentiate us from you know other competitors. Absolutely. So the folks are getting a great new mattress, and they're knowing that their other one is going to be used for good. So great. We're going to talk more about Sleep Outfitters and the partnership with Springback Nashville. We got to take a break. Thank you so much, Kim. I think Andrew's going to stay with me, and we'll be back with more with Springback Nashville right after this.